your entrepreneur bay i am coming to you guys today with a business office essentials video so i wanted to share with you guys some of the key office equipment that i needed to launch my online store if you guys are unaware i am the co-founder of synergy of essence we can be found at synergyofessence.com as well as on facebook instagram and etsy at synergy of essence if y'all are not following us then baby what is you doing for those of you who are interested in launching an online store or just a business in general this video is for you stay tuned to see all of the items that i needed to successfully launch my store okay let's get into it so i'm going to tell you guys all of the equipment and business essentials that i needed to launch my online store all right so the first thing that i needed that was essential for me was my phone my phone has been so key in launching this business it is handy it is convenient i use my phone for the following things to find vendors to research products communicate via email with customers or vendors i use it for many apps that are essential for the type of business that i have i have my shopify app on here as well as a lot of the third-party apps that i use to fully function the store we also use note a lot my to-do list for the business is on my phone and baby when i say that to-do list is long sis it is long okay let me tell y'all how many items is on here there's 52 items on this list i drive my instagram captions within the notes of my phone as well if you guys have ever experienced your app crashing and you type so much and you lose it and all of that craziness i find that the notes have helped me not to be able to have that anxiety of losing everything that i typed and i like it because of the simple fact that it allows you to indent down to the next line which you don't have that capability to do within the instagram caption I can also access my notes from my computer and I can share the notes with my business partner and we can be able to update in real time things that's on that list. I have my vendors there, um, competitors there so that I can go to websites to gauge for pricing to see what the pricing is like for items that I sell personally within the market. So many great things happen on my phone. I'm sure there's tons of things that I do on my phone for my business that I'm I'm totally forgetting right now but based on all of those things it is essential for you to have a phone when you are running an online business it's like a no-brainer the next business essential for me is definitely my macbook pro i find my mac so helpful in running my business because all of the graphics as well as the web design that had went into my business i did on my personal macbook pro and i also did those things for myself i saved a lot of money personally by designing my own website and also creating my own graphics that would include my logo all of the flyers and promotional videos that goes into my instagram account those things i've done on my macbook if y'all are interested in hearing exactly what site i use to create all my graphics as well as my promotional videos for my business then definitely let me know in the comment section down below i just prefer to do things from my computer it's just way more efficient for me and it helps me out a lot a lot of my files are stored there important business documents i store all of that information that i need is essential i also use google sheets i have my business expense reports there as well that i create on my computer through google sheets i like google sheets because it allows you to share the sheet with other people so me and my business partner can have access to all of our business expenses on that report from the moment that we started and we both can make edits and changes to it as needed so yeah my computer has been so helpful i'm sure there's other things that i didn't mention that it helps me with but y'all 
y'all get the point. Another essential for me would definitely be my printer. And the printer that I have is called HP Office Jet Pro. It is in the model 6978. We actually purchased it on eBay. I know a lot of people sleep on eBay, but do not sleep on eBay because I found that printer to be way more affordable than competitor sites. So far, it's doing really, really good for me. I was weary of getting the HP printer because you guys know that they have that instant ink program as well as the charge per page program. And I thought that it was something that you had to be a part of. But amongst my experience, I haven't found that I needed to sign up for that. I just bypassed it within the settings. I like the fact that it is a wireless printer. No matter where it is that I am, I have hooked my phone, business essential. I have hook my phone up to the printer and I can go to my Shopify app for example and print out my packaging slip right from my phone. I don't have to plug my computer up to the printer and be next to the printer to print things out. So we haven't reached the point where we had to refill on ink yet. I don't have the specs on how long it takes to run out of ink, what the pricing of the ink is at this time. It prints fast, it has printing, fax, scanning, all those capabilities. I wanted an all-in-one printer and that's exactly what we got. I haven't had any issues with it thus far the setup is like a little time consuming but once you're set up you're good to go next I have a shipping label printer and if you guys watch these videos like I watch these videos y'all already know which one I got sis the Dymo label writer 4XL I got the 4XL because it allows you to print 4 by 6 I have not had any issues with this printer I know people say that there's jams their papers get messed up mine has been working seamlessly for me I haven't had any issues there hasn't been a point where I had to print multiple shipping labels out at once I usually do mine one at a time but all I did was watch a YouTube video on how to set it up honestly I couldn't do it by myself by just figuring it out the YouTube video was short sweet straight to the point it got me where I needed to go one thing that I don't like about the Dymo label printer is the fact that I have to be directly beside the printer in order for it to print out the shipping label for me so it is connected to a USB and if y'all are not aware the Macs don't come with USBs anymore you have to put an adapter so I have to plug my adapter and then plug the USB into the adapter so that it can read on my computer it is the most okay that is the one thing that I do not like about it I wish that it had wireless capabilities and if it did I would be willing to pay more money just for wireless capabilities because it allows the process to be so much more easier I had issues with it on my very first order it wasn't anything to the printer itself I didn't select four by six for the size of the shipping label within the back end of my Shopify so it was printing out the labels kind of funny after four or five tries I got it together and we was able to print out successfully I had the printer itself set to four by six but I didn't have the Shopify set to four by six so don't make that mistake uh don't lose y'all paper like I had to do it was a learning curve for me so y'all can learn from my experiences but yeah the diamond 4XL label writer printer has been essential. It makes it so seamless. I literally have everything ready to go. Once I get to the post office, all I have to do is drop it off, grab my receipt, and go. Like, it's so, so easy. It pairs seamlessly with Shopify as well. Um, Once you figure out the 4x6 thing, you'll be good to go. <laughs> Another business essential for me has been a table. When I first started my business, I was working off of an end table in my bed, and it just was a headache. It did not work out. I have not purchased a desk yet, but I do have a temporary office Office set up and if you guys are interested in seeing my office set up then definitely let me know in the comment section down below storage as y'all see I have storage here at first all of my inventory was in many many boxes y'all will witness that on my very first entrepreneurship vlog how I had boxes and packages everywhere it made the process a lot longer than it had to be I found it to be way more efficient to have these organizers I actually purchased this in store at big lot but I like this because 
because it allows me to put all of my inventory here and it makes it easier for me to find it as y'all can see i do have this one box here but it has condensed all of the boxes the paper and plastic and everything i will stock these shelves back once we sell out but i know that at some point i'm going to outgrow these shelves and i'm going to need something different but this is honestly just something temporary that i can use this thing right here y'all is the bee's knee the setup was tedious fortunately i did not have to do it myself i did have help my mom's husband set this up for me and he's pretty handy so he figured it out sis all the best if you're not a handy person because i wouldn't be able i really wouldn't be able one day i'm going to outgrow this and i'm gonna go back to this day and reminisce like wow we've come so far blessings if y'all watch a lot of entrepreneurship vlogs like i do then y'all probably already know this scale but i'm gonna tell you anyway sis it is the architect dream go 86 pounds digital postal scale shipping scale postage with usb and ac adapter and i got it on amazon.com so mine has been doing pretty good for me i've seen some horror reviews about this scale but so far so good if i have any updates y'all know i'm gonna let y'all know so stay tuned for this entrepreneurship series i'm going to be dropping all the gems all the tea so be there or be a square now this next um item is definitely optional but being the fact that i am a youtuber and a vlogger and i document my entrepreneurship journey for my business on youtube i would say that a ring light has definitely been essential for me i do opt to use natural lighting as well and it does just fine having a ring light isn't required is honestly optional but if you plan to document your entrepreneurship journey like i do personally then i would say definitely to invest in a ring light i wouldn't say that you need a camera just starting out you want to keep your upfront cost as low as possible so I wouldn't recommend that, but having a camera would definitely be another optional alternative if you do plan to document your entrepreneurship journey. I also have a steamer. This is optional. And um, with the steamer, what I do is I steam the bonnet. So if you guys are selling any type of apparel, if you plan to do bonnets, for example, then having a steamer would definitely be essential. I hope that y'all were able to receive some beneficial information information from this video to help y'all launch y'all business or even invest in a few things that you may need for your business to make it a lot more efficient for you if y'all did enjoy this video definitely give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section down below if you have a business and if you do what is it that you sell or serve thank y'all so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to go to my website synergyofessence.com and shop with us today and check us out on our social medias at synergy of essence you have tuned into another episode of unique tarche's entrepreneurship life i am unique tarche your entrepreneur babe thank y'all so much for watching this video and i will see y'all on the next one bye babes get in that dog you're making it cool hop off the porch and go get it i went to pick up the torch and then lit it they tried to tell me i can't but i did it i had to start from the bottom my mama told me to get him, I got him.